There's something I don't understand, Chief. Why has Mr. Chan asked us here tonight? That should be clear to your clouded mind, Ryan. He knows my husband's death was not suicide. Murder. Murder? That's right. You're all under suspicion. So nobody leaves this room until Charlie Chan arrives. Say what you like, Chief. I don't have to stand for this. I'm leaving. Outward manifestation of guilty mind. Number one, son, accompany me as usual. Hi, everybody. Mr. Chan, do you really think my father was murdered? Clues often speak to detective with as clear a voice as murderer making confession. In my opinion, this is one case that will baffle even the great Charlie Chan. <laughs> here, Mrs. Dangers. You could be a clone. I am not a clone, Mrs. Dangers. I am a butler, and you are just a housekeeper. I have to see to Mrs. Lupowitz now. <sighs> Today is the anniversary of my husband's death. De Death, they'll hear you. There's somebody sleeping in the east bedroom. I don't like the looks of him at all. Nonsense, Mrs. Dangers. That's my grandson. He's been living here since he was a baby. Ever since he was orphaned. Good morning, sweetheart. This is Cordelia, your fiance and favorite wake-up call girl. Don't forget, it's just three whole days before our wedding. Better get up and go to work so you can become as great a detective as your Grandpa Chan. But my beautiful daughter and her husband were ki killed in an automobile accident. It was the curse. The curse of the Dragon Queen. Nonsense, Mrs. Dangers. I certainly do not believe in that silly woman's curse. Don't you? No. Be careful. I'll see you to breakfast now. Ah, 
Gillespie. Good morning. I... Good morning, Bernie. I hope everything's all right with you. Bernie, it's getting to be too much for me. First of all, we have a grandson who is half Jewish and half Chinese. And he's marrying a girl named Cordelia Farrington III, who is neither Jewish nor Chinese. That's not the problem, Bernie. The problem is, his paternal grandfather is Charlie Chan. Do you remember him? He's the one who solved your murder. Oh, I forgot you were dead. 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 Not now, Mrs. Dangers. Charlie Chan is coming to San Francisco to work with the police on some case. And the thing I feared most has happened. Our grandson, the last surviving Lukowitz, has decided he wants to be a detective just like Charlie Chan. Oh, Bernie, I need you. Oh, my dearest, I need you. Oh, my God, Bernie, you're gaining weight. Now. Not now! Aloha. This is wake up call number two. Get up or you'll be late for work. Now for your daily reminders. Try out new disguises. Meet your grandpa Chan when he arrives today. Buy my wedding ring. Pay alumni dues to both universities. Okay, darling. Thank you, Mrs. Dangers. Don't drink that. Let me taste it first. Ah! Ah! What is it? Ah! It was hot. <laughs> yes. Mrs. Lupowitz? Uh, Gillespie, my grandson will be having breakfast with me. Would you mind setting the table for just one more? He never eats here. He will. He will. Will you set a place for him? Yes, Mrs. Lupowitz. This is your third and final wake-up call. Honey, if you're still asleep, I want you to get up right okay. now. You'll have plenty of time okay. to sleep on our honeymoon. Sweetheart. Gillespie! Ah, uh, you can start serving breakfast just as soon as it's ready. Will that be all, madam? Yes, that will be all. Nothing more? Uh, no. Nothing. Are you absolutely sure? That will be all, Gillespie. Good morning, Grandma. Good morning, Grandpa. See you both later. What? No hug from my grandson? Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh. 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 Stay and have breakfast with me. Grandma, you know I like to get to the office early. Well, can't the office wait for an hour? Grandma. It's much nicer here. I'll have Mrs. Dangers make you nice locks and eggs. Okay. Wow, another bizarre murder. <sighs> No. Listen to this. The victim was discovered late last night at the local health spa. The body, wrapped in two layers of thick aluminum foil, was found in the steam room. He was... He 
was baked to death with a giant potato nail through his heart. Ah, that's horrible. The killer must be a madman. What a case. It's a good thing Grandpa Chan is coming in to take charge. I'd give anything to work with him. Lee, darling, it upsets me so much when you say that. Why do you want to be like Grandpa Chan? Grandpa Bernie left you pineapple plantations that, that cover half of Hawaii. Be a pineapple man. Pineapples are sweet. They're not dangerous like the hoodlums and criminals that surround Charlie Chan. That's why I don't want you to be a detective. I'm not interested in pineapples. Well, Grandma knows what's best and safest for you, my beautiful boy. Grandma, being a detective is in my blood. Half your blood. Oh, Grandma, don't talk like that. You know I love you both. Now that Grandpa's coming to San Francisco, won't you please try to get along with him? Would you like me to cut that for you, sweetheart? Grandma, I know what you think of my ability, but I intend to carry on the Chan Dynasty. The Chan Dynasty? Don't worry, Grandma. I know how to take care of myself. Are you feeling all right, darling? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. You're quite sure, darling? Mm-hmm. Uh, good. Ah, breakfast. Thank you, Gillespie. Sugar, Grandma. Sugar. By the way, today the chief has taken me to meet Grandpa's plane. Why don't you come along? Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Aha! Mmm, your locks and eggs. Thank you. Thank you, Gillespie. Doesn't he know there's a 55-mile speed limit in the dining room? Soy sauce, Grandma. My God, on locks and eggs? There you are. Uh, uh, Gillespie. Gillespie. I don't think he's finished with his eggs yet. Good morning, Stefan. I trust everything is well with your grandmother on this beautiful morning, sir. Yes, she's fine. Oh, Cordelia. Lee! Stop the car, Stefan. It's my fiance. Cordelia! Pull over, Stefan. Cordelia! Lee! Cordelia! Be careful, darling. You'll fall the hood. Don't worry, darling. The animals love me. Oh, darling, did that hurt? Sweetheart! I got you! I love you. Darling, are you all right? Yeah. I brought these for your grandmother. They're from my garden. Oh, darling, they're beautiful. She'll love them. Well, it's the least I could do after all that she's done for our wedding and everything. Oh, by the way, Mommy and Daddy called this morning, and they said they won't be able to make it to the wedding. They're having such a good time in Albania that they wanted to stay on for a little while. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, uh, darling. Yes? Are you absolutely sure you want to marry me? Of course I'm sure. What made you bring that up? Lee? No, no, I, I think you're better off without me. Oh. I mean, you're young and you're beautiful and you're... I mean, you're free. You can go out and meet exciting new men, men who are confident and bright and... I don't want a bright, confident man. I want you. Take the flowers to Grandma. Put them in water.
Stefan, I'm gonna take the cable car to the office. You sure it's all right, sir? You know how Madam feels about public transportation. Oh, she worries too much, Stefan. I'm not her baby grandson anymore. I'm a man, I'm a detective. I'm a little short of cash, let me a dollar. All right, sir. Tell Grandma not to worry. It's not necessary now. Oh, please. Oh, sorry. I sure could use a nice cold drink of water. How about you? See you, John. Don't let us sue! Oh, do you see? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Don't do it. Hello? <sighs> Your window is broken. Contact. Need our next break. Al, window repairs. Five, 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 seven, eight, five, six. study of acupuncture is to know exactly at what point to pierce the skin in relation to which disease. In room number one, we have a woman being treated by a new method. Electric needles. She's here for a facelift. 
Two needles are connected to a variable electric pulse of a very low voltage. These jolts must maintain stimulation for over 20 minutes. Ouch! Moving right along. In room three, our patient is suffering from tennis elbows. Oh, oh my God! Is this another one of those bizarre killings? No, 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 it's just another plain, ordinary, everyday suicide. Come on, for God's sake, leave me alone, will you? Why haven't the police been able to do anything? I hear rumors that uh, Charlie Chan has been called in on the case. Is uh, that right, Chief? The answer is yes. You owe us a story, Chief. I owe you a story. I... I owe you a story? Why the hell doesn't somebody tell my story, God damn it? I got the mayor on my back and I got the governor on my back. I've got the goddamn gay citizens for safe streets committee on my goddamn back. And last night, the PTA was on my lawn throwing <laughs> rocks at my house. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My head, my stomach. Uh, you think I don't want the goddamn bizarre killer caught? What do you think I want him to do? Go free for Christ's sakes? I want him caught as much as you do. Yeah. Now you want a goddamn statement for your goddamn papers? Okay, here's my statement. No comment. Yeah. You got that? Now leave me alone. Get out of here. How do you say no comment? That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Ah. Ah. Heathenish. Heathenish. Oh, God, that's ghastly. Don't kill or shoot anybody anymore. Yeah, it's a goddamn bizarre killer again. Jesus Christ, that's can't it, you goddamn it. homicide people do anything? We're trying to do the best we can. <laughs> Hold on, Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Open up. Open up wide. <laughs> there we go. Wider. <laughs> <laughs> That's my grandpa! <laughs> hey, man, watch out for my cable. Good to see you. You haven't changed a bit. Everybody must say the same about you. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, I guess from now on, I'd better look where I'm going. Less depressing than look where I've been. Uh. Mr. Chan, can you tell me how do you feel about coming out of the time? All oh, will be revealed tomorrow. Get back there. Let him alone. Let him alone. He just got here. What are you, a bunch of animals? Am I? Glad to see you, Feeling Jenna. is mutual. You're looking great, great. Ah, time words most appreciated, but I fear that mirror is more accurate than cheap. Ah, 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 ah. Get Mr. Chan the files. Files? The files and the bizarre murders! Right away, Chief. The case has got us so jittery. I want you to have a look at the files. Yeah, most necessary. Oft times stories in newspapers tell more than mere truth. Sir? Oh. Uh, yes, files. Yeah. Probably take longer to read file than to solve the case. Get out! Get the hell out of here, all of you! Get out of here! Uh, 
I'll, I'll go help Grandpa's back stuff, okay? Oh, yes, darling? Mm. Welcome to San Francisco, Charles. Oh, Sylvia, long time not have seen you. Give me great pleasure to see maternal grandmother of uh, number one grandson. I trust you and for health. Don't say a word to the man in the white suit. You think he might be a detective. Oh, well, we're all getting older, Charles. Oh, process of aging never agreeable, but uh, better than alternative. <laughs> I worry about our grandson, you know. He just won't give up being a detective. He must learn for himself. Oh, really? Grandpa, the household staff is all here, too. They all wanted to see you. Oh, how generous of you to invite them. Well, I didn't invite them. They just got in the car. Chief, hmm? why don't you and Patrol and Maston join us for a drink? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're on duty for Christ's sake. Will you? Not now. Drink. Come on. I just got right myself off you. Grandpa. Off oh, duty, Maston! Oh, uh, Grandpa, this oh. is Cordelia. Cordelia, oh. this is my grandpa. I'm so pleased to finally meet you, Mr. Chen. Please tell me so much about you. He talks about you all the time. All the time? Surely there must be better things for young people to talk about. If you'll excuse me for just one moment, I'll be right back. Oh! Oh! Can't you watch where you're going? I'm very sorry. I'm I was sorry, sorry. you ruined my coat. And look at this. It's so right through to my dress. You clumsy scarecrow through the hotel. I'll have your job. But ma'am, you bumped into Insolence! me. Insolence! Could kill you, my good man. Come, Stefan. Come. <laughs> Grandma? Yes. Oh. Oh. Grandpa Chan, do tell us all about how you saw Grandpa Bernie's murder. Yes, please do. And especially about his hanky panky with the dragon queen. Grandpa Bernie wanted to stop his romance and go back to Grandma. That's why the Dragon Queen killed him. I could never figure out the fork and the teacup clue. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Oh, if you insist. Everyone thought Bernard Lupowitz had committed suicide. Family and friends of victim gathered at Lupowitz Mansion. Somewhere among them, a ruthless killer waited. Widow Mrs. Lupowitz most agitated. Chan make thorough investigation of victims' papers. Examination of his papers reveal bills from florists, from uh, jewelers, from exclusive women's shops. None of these items delivered here, all sent to home of the Dragon Queen. That's a lie. Maybe you kill him when you discover he about to abandon you and return to wife. Never. Mr. Chan. We don't have to let my husband's literal indiscretions become a matter for the local gossip columnists. After all, we all know the dragon has been sordid past with other wealthy men. Let us reconstruct crime step by step. Someone Mr. Lupowitz trust, bring him tea. Tea poison. Killer puts gun in hand and points gun at victim's temple. And depart premises. Killer knew that when rigor mortis set in, victim's hand would tighten on trigger of gun. And... Uh, <laughs> Puncture marks of fork in hand of victim, not bleed. Therefore, victim dead when hand hit fork. Killer placed gun in victim's hand to make sure police will call it uh, suicide. But this was a mistake. If only arm had been left hanging by the side of body, no way fork. Ever get in peak. Who was first on scene? I was. Everyone heard the shot, Mr. Chan. We all came running from our rooms. Thank you so much. I now know who killed Mr. Lupowitz. Only first person on scene could have changed position of gun unnoticed. Mm. You are murderer. Don't move. Any of you. You. 
You've outsmarted me, Chan, but it's too late for you now. It's too late for all of you. Chan, I curse you. I curse you and your descendants to the third generation. Number one son, earn eternal gratitude of parent for saving life. S say, Pop, now that the, the case is over, uh, can, I, can I talk to you for a minute? See, uh, while we were working on this case, Brenda and I have sort of been going out. Some sputter like leaking radiate. Pop, Brenda and I are going to be married. Seem like curse working already. <laughs> Dragon Queen was most insidious and diabolical woman Chan ever know. Sweetness of her smile masked bitter taste of poison. Uh, I'm sure that, that, that Charles must be exhausted after his long trip. Now, don't you want to go up to your room and, and, and wash your hands? Freshen up? Oh, yes. Good idea to freshen the outer man as well as the inner one with a martini. Yeah. A Gibson you have. <laughs> <laughs> Is that with the onion or with the olive? I don't remember. I'm a pineapple. I'll get back, Grandpa. Despite excessive moisture, grandson's still alive. He could have been killed. Can't you see that? He's soaked. Get him a towel. Towel. I don't know why in the hell he's wearing a dress. Put him down as an Arab. Unidentified Arab. Chief, I'm Simon Banks, the manager. Oh, God, I don't understand this. We never had a leak in the elevator before. Leak in elevator? Listen. We gotta check out all of these bodies here for identification, and we're gonna be kind of busy around here for a while. Uh, busy, Masson! Seal off the floor! We you seal off the whole floor with the goddamn bizarre killer again? Look at that. Five new dettos and another goddamn clue. He's just laughing at us. Oh, Chan, thank God you're in this case. You here. Here, you know any steps here? You recognize No, it no, I, I, I don't even know if they were what? guests here. We'll go down to headquarters, Chan, and then I'll brief you out as soon as we get the lab report. Yeah. I won't come back. I want complete dossier of all hotel employees authorized to work on elevator and all with access to same. Oh, yes, sir. We keep excellent records in this hotel. Mm. I do hope that you'll enjoy your stay here with us, sir. Mm. Oh, Grandpa! Grandpa! Grandpa, I'd like to work with you on this case. Uh, maybe I can help you solve it. Oh. Uh, yes, Grandpa? Please do Grandfather a favor of telling him your personal opinion of uh, elevator murder. Well, Grandpa, my uh, opinion... Observe carefully before comment. No. Mm -hmm. Aha! The hose. The hose probably goes upstairs somewhere. You're getting warmer. Grandpa, upstairs to the killer's room, where it's attached to a, uh... Faucet. Faucet. That's it, Grandpa. All we have to do is trace the hose to the killer's room, and we have the killer. So sorry. Holes not go to killer's room. No. Holes go on roof of building, where there is water tank. Uh -huh. That other end of holes attach the bottom of elevator, with time valve, and only fill with water after killer has made good his escape. 
That's it, Grandpa. Yes, good lesson for young detective. When faced with the obvious, look elsewhere. Ooh. Most grateful to uh, fiance for taking me to see grandson. Also eager to see where he worked. I have all the confidence in the world in Lee. All he needs is a little experience. Experience, good school, but sometimes fees high. Well, all I know is that Lee has the talent to become a great detective. Every time we go to a murder movie, by the time it's halfway over, he knows who did it. It's really amazing. Sometimes I have to go twice before I know. Most gratified, the fiancé's faith in grandson. <laughs> mm. You are a murderer. Grandpa. Cordelia. What a surprise. Hi, sweetheart. What's that? What? This. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, I was uh, just trying out some of my uh, detective disguises. Oh. Detective disguises mean that you, as detective, must disguise self. Does not mean that you must disguise self as detective. Gee, Grandpa, would you like to sit down? Oh, most flattered, if somewhat curious. Why should grandson disguise himself as grandfather? I know why. Because you admire your grandfather so much, you want to be just like him, don't you, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. I knew it. He loves you, Mr. Chan. Of course, he loves his grandmother, too, but he doesn't dress like her. I'll get it. Where's Lala? <laughs> She's been trying to sell me Girl Scout fortune cookies for weeks. about the cookies. I'll find it, okay? I'll find it. Oh, now you know. I'm not doing too hot. The only case I've had in weeks was trying to find a lost cat. I'm sorry, darling. Many times catch cat more difficult than solving murder. All I need is one good break. You'll get your break, darling. Every case is one step closer. Today a cat, tomorrow a killing. You think so? Yeah. Every journey seemed long at beginning, but every step taken bring you closer to goal. Then you think it's possible, Grandpa, for me to be as great a detective as you? Chan, not say that. Good evening, Bernie. How are you? At least one of us is at peace. I'm not. Charlie Chan will be here in our house tonight. Oh, Bernie. I need you. I miss your strength. I miss your passion. I miss your ability to, to make a decision. You know, that, that little business head of yours. Why can't it be the way it was? You and me. Never-ending stars. The smell of pineapple blossom everywhere. La 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 la. La la la. La la. You saw other women. I forgive you because I love you. Because now this is all I have of you. At least I know where you are nights.
I should like to propose a toast. Let us raise our wine glasses and toast to a happy family and to Cordelia, my future wife. Hold it. Since this is a most memorable occasion, I would like everyone to remember this moment to the split second. Let's check our watches. <laughs> the time is exactly 8.15 and 32 seconds. Uh, would you excuse me? I uh, have to go upstairs and change. Gillespie. Oh, you're all wet, darling. Let me... Uh... Oh, Julia. It must be alone in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Fingerprints could be all over that scar. Oh, 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 oh. She's choking to death. Careful. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry. Can't hurry. This is a weird knot. It's hard to untie. Aha. Evidence. Not that chair. The scarf's there. Killer might have sat there. Get her to the bed. And watch where you're dragging her. You might wipe out the killer shoe prints. Grandson soon wipe out grandmother. You all right, Mrs. Lukowitz? What have you done to her? Don't worry, man. Whoever did this to you will live to regret it. Please, can you recall what happened? I was starting to change when somebody came up behind me and started to strangle me. Know anyone with motive to kill you? No! Look at this crummy neighborhood. You can, you can, you can... You can, you can, you can. You can walk 15 blocks and never leave the scene of the crime. The dude in the white red. Who's your tailor? Who's your tailor? The man where you get your back. White on white, that's all right. Why do they put a club on a street like this? From the air, starting up my asthma. I'm hyperventilating, too. Careful with your blood pressure, Chief. Oh, this must be the club right here. Police, buddy! Oh.
position. Order. How was he murdered, Grandpa? Electrocution. Wet saxophone instrument of death. Oh, another goddamn bizarre killing. Now we gotta find a goddamn killer. And the killer could be someone in this room. Christ, that's gonna take all night. I have an idea. Now everybody shut up! <laughs> Oh, no. The, the suspects. Where the suspects go. We've been going over this case for two hours now, and no matter how we try, it doesn't make sense. Patience, desirable quality for detective, hope to reach goal. But we're getting nowhere. Somewhere there must be a logical pattern to these murders. But None of the pieces fit in. Everything seems too muddy. Mud of bewilderment will soon be dredged from pool of thought. Have notion. Each murder taken separately mean nothing. Put all together and pattern begin to spell itself out. It's for me. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I forgot the note. New phone number, 555-8760. Message for Mr. Chen. Oh. Touch nothing. Oh. Observe note pinned to body. Oh, my God, he's dead. He's been murdered right here in your own office. Darling, this could be the break you've been waiting for. Look at the note. Be careful. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Uh. The next bizarre killing will take place this afternoon at Mallard Lake behind the Riding Academy in Golden Gate Park. 3.30 p.m. Let's go, Grandpa. First place call to Chief Baxter. <laughs> Look! They're all dressed like you, Grandpa. Never thought Grandfather trendsetter. So glad they're not all detectives. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, sorry, darling. It's okay. It's almost 3.30. I don't see anything suspicious. Absence of suspicion often denotes presence of danger. <gasps> Chan, curse you. Charlie Chan's old enemy, Dragon Queen.
Should we follow them, Chief? It's such a beautiful day, I thought we'd drive down to the beach. <laughs> Don't touch it, I could be 
have got away, didn't you? Now, don't tell me she didn't, because I know goddamn she got away. Didn't she get away? She got away, Chief. Of course, they always get away. Most regrettable. Dragon Queen will no doubt try again. Perhaps our grandson's ready. go to waste, there's still time before the guests arrive. If you want to see your grandfather alive, come to the old loft above the El Tinge Theater in Chinatown. Right now. If not, your grandfather will be tortured inch by inch, and his death will be on your head. Don't let anyone know where you're going, or he's dead. bride in her wedding dress. It's Grandpa. He's been kidnapped. You see? I told you it was bad luck. I gotta help him. I'm going with you. No, you have to stay here. You're getting married today. But you are, too. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Hey, be careful of your veil, though.
Superbly in arranging this affair. I hope the young couple will be extremely happy. Modern times difficult for young couples. Observe that most ceremonies today last longer than marriages. Oh, Charles, Charles. Have you seen Lee, Junior? He's not upstairs in his room, neither is Cordelia. Please do not upset self. Worry does not enhance appearance of beautiful woman. A very lovely scar. What? This old thing? Excuse me, Mr. Chan. This note just came. It's addressed to you. The next bizarre killing will take place at the old scenery loft above the Eltinge Theater. It should be of special interest to you since it involves members of your immediate family. Jesus Christ, Chan! We're going! Charles, what's going on? I've got to rescue grandson and fiancé. Rescue? What do you mean, rescue? Please, all will be explained. I can't breathe. No, 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 no. My grandson, no. my baby! Step by, get the car! Get the car! Rescue. He might be. He might be. Dead? Possibly. Not one more word! Somebody's prisoner. That rope goes right through the guillotine. And the candle's gonna burn through the rope any second. Oh, no. And release the dog. And when it does, we're dead. We've gotta blow that candle out. It's too far away. Tell me climbing stairs add years onto life. Be not wrong. Feel ten years older already. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
This is Whippoorwix. Is he? Is he? Is he? Not now, Mrs. Dangers. Chance. Got cramp in both feet, dizziness in head, heart, uh, skip beat, otherwise feel fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah. I have an idea. some other for well, once man more industrious than spider have been recently used Possibility booby trap have been arranged. Oh. I've been expecting same. Oh, Gee, Grandpa, you almost got killed. Cut the ropes, though, Master. No, it's easier this way. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh. Ingenious, but like blind chess player, make false moves. Check mate. Hello again, Charlie Chan. Sorry it took me so long to catch up with you. If I had killed you years ago in Hawaii, we wouldn't have to go through all of this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, how could he get himself kidnapped? On the other hand, all those years in prison gave me plenty of time to plan. The curse I placed on you is long overdue. Now it's time to collect. Goodbye, Charlie Chan. Work, young fella. Now, many years ago, number one son, your father saved my life. Now, grandson, do humble detective similar favor. It must run in the family. <laughs> so far, always conveniently placed, generation after generation. Out of the way! Out of the way! One piece. One time. Hey, hey. Responsible for this. You. You! Now, now, Mrs. Lupowitz, don't you oh. worry about a oh, thing, no, no, and no, we're no, gonna no. take care of her. Oh, sorry. Booker, 12 counts of murder, one. Dragon Queen, not bizarre killer. What are you on Mars or something? What the hell are you talking about? However, believe that solution to series of most hideous crimes at last within grasp. <laughs> Dragon Queen. Make attempt on Chan life, true, but only in order to try and make her curse work. Poor Dragon Queen, not very good curse. She innocent of deaths. Oh, 
Oh, will you get the goddamn dog out of here? <laughs> Take her away. You won't get away with this, Charlie Chan. I'm renewing the curse. Chan, what the hell's happened? She's not the bizarre killer. No. Bizarre killer. Someone in this room. What is that? Violence. Please. Let us uh, contemplate the most interesting pattern which began to fall near the end of this case. When killer began to stalk family, every member of household becomes suspect. Killer most clever, most cunning, with a devious mind and many secrets. A person like, uh, like you, Mr. Gillespie. <laughs> Was that I don't know what you're talking about, Chan. No. Observe. Good match. Quite the same. Ah, uh, stoop. <gasps> Holy smoke! Gillespie. You can walk. Well, certainly I can walk. I just don't want to. All right, Chan, you've got me. How did you know? Soles of shoes show scuff and scrape marks. This serious error for a man in wheelchair. All right, you're under arrest for murder. You just hold on one minute. Oh, you hold it, Chan. I didn't kill anyone, I swear it. I would like so much to believe you. Kindly resume seat, if you will, for time being. Let us continue train of thought. Killer, very clearly, someone not of sound mind. Me? This woman. Clear example of paranoid schizophrenia. See danger in everything. Uh -huh. You're under arrest for murder. No, no, Chief. She too fearful to commit crime in real life. Watch out! <laughs> she need long rest. Will you leave her alone? Do you know how hard it is to find a decent maid? Why don't you just keep calm, Mrs. Lubowitz? Mm. One suspect remains. I beg your pardon, sir. Are you accusing me of a crime? I'm curious why someone so obviously educated at Oxford University should be content with job of chauffeur. Is it not beneath the dignity of Prince of Mosambi tribe? I say, how did you know? Ah, oh, tribal marks on cheek of Mozambi tribe, most unusual. One signify warrior, two signify village chief, three signify prince. Only king your father raped four or more. You found me out. Never mind that. You're under arrest for... No. No, huh? In Mozambi tribe, only warriors permitted to kill. Prince not permitted because in sight Anger of volcano god, if spilled blood. My dear sir, how do you know so much about Mozambique? Subscribe to National Geographic. What are you doing, Chen? There's nobody left. Jesus! <laughs> Contradiction, please. Oh, oh, oh just, just one minute, Charles. Charles, how do you know that the Dragon Queen was not the murderer? Because when Dragon Queen kidnap and tie up grandson, and fiance. She used perfectly ordinary knots in rope to tie them. Whereas bizarre killer used knot of great complication, exactly identical to one used to tie hands of victim in acupuncture clinic. There were no signs of breaking or entering in your house on the night of attempt on you. All servants either at table with you or in kitchen. So that, uh, Victim would have to tie not round her own neck. Yes, most ingenious. But it only leads to further suspicion of you. You see, uh, no marks of strangulation on neck. Why? Crimes move nearer and nearer to home. Why? Book match. Mark Club Shanghai. Dropped by you. Club Shanghai, where actual murder take place. Why? Because 
Someone tried to get a chance. All this is sheer guesswork. You have absolutely no proof. Grandpa, look. Grandma has the same knot tied on her scarf. Oh, at last, number one grandson have observed something. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Not so ridiculous. In cocktail lounge before elevator murders, you collide with waiter, get him to spill drink to disguise the fact that your dress is wet already. Yes, dress become wet when you prepare holes to flood the elevator. Next statement I make is one of the saddest I ever had to make in whole life. You are moderate. I can't understand it. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because of him, Charlie Chan, the world's greatest detective. You killed because of Grandpa? When your Grandpa Bernie was killed, that was tragedy enough. But he, he had to humiliate me, too. He made Bernie's sordid little affair a matter of public information. The newspapers picked it up. Look, look, everybody knew. People pointed at me in the streets. Nobody asked me to dinner anymore. Nobody accepted invitations to come to my house. In one day, I had gone from being a popular society matron to this little widow involved in something squalid. It drove me from Honolulu. But even here, in San Francisco, Everybody knew, no matter where I went. My magnet, Saxon Avenue, Elizabeth Ark, I could hear them whispering. She must have been a lousy lady. And I wasn't. I had only one reason to live. My little baby grandson. I had to keep him from becoming another Chan. And then it came to me. A series of murders. So clever, so devious, so bizarre, so chic, that they would baffle the entire San Francisco police force. And they would be forced to call in Charlie Chan. And he, too, would be unable to solve the crime. And he, too, would become a laughing stock. And he, too, would know shame and degradation. And that was going to be my revenge on the world's greatest detective. Look like your plan has failed. Damn. So you found me out. I still win, Charlie. This is one killer you'll never catch. Oh, shoot for props to stage. Oh. to substitute time locks for real locks using keys of your own manufacture? No! no. That is not true! C'est pas vrai! Ah. You entered this room with intention of stealing. 
our victim catch you in act. And you kill him. Now you are alone. With only corpse and our deaf butler who retire for night anyway. Then when police try to break down door, you dispose of murder weapon. You are murderous. That may be, Charlie, but you'll never get me. I'll have my revenge. I swear it, Charlie. Mr. Chan, I'm going to hold you personally responsible for that girl's welfare. If anything happens, I don't think will happen. No. Mr. Chan, I'm still not convinced she did it. No? Not at all. There are some things in your explanation, Mr. Chan, that just don't wash. Hey, Bob, you can't let him do that. I have no intention of doing so. Explanation. You said she had been convicted of using a duplicate key to house money. That is not a very sophisticated crime, Mr. Chan. It seems to me that a person who buys duplicate keys would easily leave the room without benefit of time. They would probably not even. Gotcha! You're under arrest for murder, Mrs. Lupowitz. No, no, don't shoot! No, no, don't no, shoot! No, don't no, shoot! Damn it! No! 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 Now, Grandpa, I'm very confused. How could Grandma have killed all Grandma, those Grandma, brilliant woman. Thank you. However, our thin lines separate brilliance from insanity. Oh, she, dear. unfortunately, took several steps across it. About 25. Grandma, Grandma, I don't want you to worry about a thing. No. And you'll be in a nice place where you can get lots of help. Darling, I don't huh? need any help. I can kill people all by myself. Oh, isn't there anything we can do for you, Grandma? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, there is. Grandma, anything. Excuse me. Don't tell Grandpa Bernie. No. No. <laughs> humble gift from unworthy living ancestor may brighten wedding celebrations for grandson and uh, bride. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Something no detective should be without. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's Lava. Lava. <laughs> Grandpa, oh. how did you find him? Not easy. Mrs. Lupowitz! Mrs. Lupowitz! I'm coming with you. I'm coming no, with you. No, no, not now, Mrs. Danger. <laughs> Enjoy honeymoon. And if you remember to send postcard from time to time to grandfather, we'll be most appreciated. <laughs> I love you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Grandpa. Uh, Chief. Uh, do I look all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> Get out! And I love you too, Cordelia. Oh, Lee. You're so romantic. <laughs> もしもし。はい、マシマシ。はい、テレフォン人生相談です。はい。最初に年齢教えてください。24歳です。24歳。今は学生を働いてるの大学。大学で。はい。住んでるのはお父さんとお母さんと一緒いや、あの、父親と一
相手も女の子でその彼氏とかではないんですけどわかりましたそれで今日の相談っていうのはどういうことですか妹と連絡が取れてなくて、うん、もうちょっと仲直りっていうかしたいっていう仲直りしたいっていうのはどういう喧嘩があったんですか母親が亡くなった理由が、はい、母親が僕に勧めたあの病気の治療のせいだと歯並びなんですけど責めてしまって歯並びはい母親自身歯がすごい虫歯が多くて、うん、歯並びが悪くて、うん、悩んでたみたいで、うん、僕には歯医者通わせてたんですけど、うん、その歯医者で、うん、今のうちに治療しとかないとダメだみたいな、うん、そんなことを言われたらしくて結局よく分からず歯医者に連れてかれて。うん半年ぐらい夜寝る時につける治療をできるかって言われてそこでやりたくないって言えばよかったんですけど、うん、自分の意思とは違う方向に進んでしまってそれをそ,それ何歳ぐらいの時 ?11 歳ぐらいです11歳、うんうん、それで、うん、その治療が、うん、結局その半年じゃなくて3年か4年ぐらいやったんですけど、うん、どんどんその歯が噛めなくなってってもういいって言ったら、うん、母親が先生に、うん、もう満足してるんでやめさせてくださいって言ってよく分からずあっという間に終わってしまったんですようんもう一人別のお医者さんに相談するっていう気は持たなかった最初の,その治療を勧められた歯医者は、うん、お金が高すぎるって言って父親が反対したんですよ、うんそれで父親も納得させられて値段的にそれで母親が望む歯の調整もできるっていう歯医者を見つけてきたのがその僕が治療した歯医者なんですよ、うん、それでお母さんが2年前にそういうことになったとはい、はい、そういうことですねで、はい、今日の相談っていうのははい妹さんともう仲悪くなっちゃったんだけどもはい仲直りしたいとそういうことです妹と最後にその会ったのが、うん、1年前ぐらいなんですけど、うん、僕が妹の自転車使ってて、うん、妹の輪っかの鍵ですね、うん、それを使わないで、うん、カゴに入れたまま、うん駐輪場に置いといて、うん、盗まれちゃったんですよ、うん、そしたら妹が父親に母親のすごい肩身でものすごい思い出のある品だったのにどうして盗むんだとか言って父親と妹が喧嘩がもう今にも始まるっていう声が聞こえそうになって、うん、そして僕は入ったらお母さんの気持ちを全然誰も分かってくれないみたいな。私こんなにお母さんのことを思ってるのにって、うん、なって、うん、どうにもならなくなって、うん、妹を倒して、はい、首を上から足で踏んづけてしまったんですね、うん、どうにかして黙らせたいみたいに思ってしまって、うん、でそれで精神科に父親に連れてかれてそこから3か月入院したんですけど、うん、入院したはい、うん、その間に妹が引っ越して、うん、1年前ですね、うん、そこから連絡は取ってないですでその妹となんとか仲直りしたいということねはいわ、はい、かりましたすいません申し訳ないですもうちょっとだけ話させてくださいあと少しあと5分だけくださいあと5分だけくださいはいそれで、はい、歯の矯正とは違うきっかけでなおだいぶ調子音とが良くなってしまってはい、そこを妹に言うのが怖くて、はい、あれだけ母親が勧めた強制のせいで、はい、って言って母親を苦しめたのに、はい、違う方法で調子が良くなってしまったとそれを言うのが怖いんですね。ということは今妹に最初は仲直りしたいと言ったけれども、はい、本当のことを言うのも怖いと。はい、私はどうしたらいいですかっていうことですねはいそうですはいわかりました
今日はあの心についてのエッセイストとしておなじみのアドマゼル・アイジ先生がいらっしゃるのであなたの心の底をきちんと整理してくださると思いますマドマズライです、はいはい、僕ねあなたの話聞いてると一体これまで起きたことは何だったのかって僕ずっと思ってたんですよ、はい、そしてそれをねちょっと一回整理したくなかったんですよ、はい、まずあなたのことから言うと、はい、歯の矯正に関して、はい、お母さんが心配してくれた、はい、これは何もおかしいことじゃないよねおかしくないです、ね、そしてお母さんがそれの強制をしたいと思ったことも何もおかしくない。はい。そしてあなたは治療のレールに乗せられたことに何もおかしな点はない。はい。僕はあなたは何も悪くなかったと思ってます。はい。次に母親の気持ちも全く悪くないんですよ。はい。いい。はい、そして父親がお金出すわけだから。<笑>なるだけ安いところで治療しようとしたこと自体は全く理解できます、はいはい、誰も悪くないんだよこの事件はもともと父親とその母方の親戚がすごい仲が悪くて母親と父親の仲が良くなくて僕たちは何か問題が起こるとその母親とその。母親の方の親戚でもう全部父親が悪いとそういうのを延々と小さい時から聞かされてきてるんですよでそれであのそれ泣くのやめた方がいいよちゃんと聞こえないからちゃんと言って普通にはいえー、っとそうだよ泣くから問題が解決しないんだよはいだから僕はあなたは悪くない母も悪くない父も悪くないと思ったんですよ、はいはい、この事件は誰も悪くない事件なんですよただそれを見て親類が何とか言うとかこれは置いときましょうよとりあえずすいませんじゃあ、はい、何か悲劇なんだよ悲劇、はい、悲劇って起こるんだよ悲しい事件がはいその中で人は生きなくちゃいけない時があってはい今犯人探しをしちゃうからそうですねおかしな話に永遠になっていくわけだよそれをやってる時に一番被害者はお母さんになっちゃうわけだよはい誰も悪くないっていうことはお母さんを弔う唯一の方法なんですよそうですねそう思わないで,でも、うん、母親が死んだ時に妹が泣いてる時に、うん、母親の親戚がやってきて、うん「泣くなお前のせいだろううるさいから出てて」みたいなことを、うん3人大人に囲まれて言われて、うん、母親の横で泣くのも許されなかったと、うん、で妹はその深夜雨が降る中、うん、泣きながら街をよさまよってたわけですよ、うん、それがあって、うん、母親の掃除に出ればよかったんですけど、うん、もう妹とその親戚で修羅場になることが分かってて逃げちゃったんですね、うんそれでその後僕だけ体調が良くなった時に母方の親戚にこんなに辛かったのに良くなったんだよってことを言ったら、うん、あなたは許してあげると、うん、妹は絶対許さんからなみたいなことを言われて、うん、あのさ、はい、人が何言おうが、はい、本当にそこの言葉に力があるなんて何で思うわけそのですねあなた一人で生きていきないよとにかく一人で覚悟しないよそれが、うん、どうにか体調を良くして働けるまでの自信がつくぐらい、うんうん、だからさそこなんだよ、はい、誰もね、はい、歩ける自信があるから歩いたわけじゃないよちよち歩けど倒れながら歩いて知らないうちに歩くのが上手くなっていったわけだよそれを法則に以外の法則なんかないのよそのスタート地点にはあなた十分能力もあるしそのぐらいの健康はあると僕には思えます、はい、そうですそしてこの件は誰も悪くなかった悲劇だったんだよ、はい、その中でもう一人一人がどうやって生きていくかを
自分の問題として考えていこうということだよ、本当に。そうですね、そうやって生きていてくれる人が、うん、<笑>っていうか、まあ、自分で思えればいいだけなんですけど、そこでちょっと揺れてて、うん、揺れながらやるしかないよ、ねはい、加藤先生、もう一回聞いてみようね、ちょっとね、はいはい、すいません、はい、いろいろ父親が出てきたり、母親の2年前の自殺の問題が出てきたり、妹の問題が出たら来たり、まあ、いろんなことがありましたけども。すいませんはいこれ解決するのはあなたどうしたらいいと思うあの生きていけるって思いたかっただけです、はい、どうしたら生きていけると思う今でも死にたいみたいな気持ちっていうかなんかちょっとそういうのと戦ってるところがあってうん、うん、死にたいと思ってるだろうし悲劇の主人公を演じてるわけだけどもまあそうですねあそれ分かったそこが焦点そうですよはいそこが分かったらば全てこの問題解決はいそうですあなたはね悲劇の主人公になって、はい、なんでこんなに次から次へと泣いてはめいて騒いだかはいただ一つはいあなたは怒りを直接表現できないえそうなんですよつまりあなたは怒りを直接表現できないから、はい、怒りは間接的に表現してるんですはいそこが分かれば全部あの解決です分かりました悲劇の誇示をしていても問題は解決しないはい小さい頃からものすごい怒りがあるんだしあんたははいそれで弱さを武器にして、はい、支配者になってるんですはいそうですその通りですだけど思うようにいかないからものすごい怒りがあるんです、はい、その怒りがあなたは自分を悲劇の主人公にすることによって解決してるんですはいこれ全部今その通りで知ったから解決ですこれはいすごい、はい、今日は24歳そうですねはいあとこれから人生しっかり生きていきましょう、はいはい、必ず友達はできます、はい、その悲劇の主人公をやめればはい分かった分かりましたその通りだと思います本当にこれで全部解決です、はい、人生で解決できない問題はないね分かりましたはいどうも失礼しますはい怒りは悲劇を誇示するということにして間接的に現れます明日のテレフォン人生相談は転職を千回以上も繰り返し危機感を感じているという三十七歳の男性からのご相談ですパーソナリティは今井美智子さん作家で翻訳家の三石由紀子さんが回答者です今日はどういったご相談ですか子供のことでご相談があるんですけれどもあなたおいくつ42ですご主人いらっしゃいますかはいおいくつですか42です42ですお,おなよ同士ですねはい、はい、お子さんは何人いらっしゃるの2人です男のお子さん女のお子さん上が男で16歳下が女の子13歳はいでどちらのお子さんのご相談相談なんですけれども、はい、中学生ぐらいの時からなんですけれども、はい、私のお財布とか、はい、妹のお財布ですとか、はい、家にあるお金をですね、はい、ちょくちょく持っていくようになったんですね、はい、それで最初にこのことが分かった時には本人も素直に認めまして反省をして今後こういうことがないようにっていうことでお話をしたんですけれども、はい、それが分かったきっかけは上の子しかいなかった状況でその前に私は銀行に行きまして、はい、お財布の中にいくらあるっていうことがはっきり把握していたので、はい、そこから1万円なくなっていたものですから、はい、その時ですということはその時は1万円だったわけねそうです、ねはい、でその前にもあったとは思うんですけどちょっと定かではなかったんですねああなるほどはい
息子さんとお嬢さんにあげているお小遣いはいくら下の子には2000円ですで上の子はアルバイトをしているのであ、はい、げてないですバイト料いくらでしょう多い時には6万円とか、はい、7万円とかになる時もありますこれ月にねはい、はいその今アルバイトをされているその今もお家にあるお金を持っていかれちゃうっていうのが続いてんですかそれで私たちも家にお金があるという状況を作らない方がいいんじゃないかって主人とも相談しまして、はい、1年ほど前からは家にお金をなるべく置かないようにしているので、はいはい、今は家からっていうのはないんです、はい、そうすると今ご相談になられているというのは、はいはい、アルバイトを1年ほど前からしていたんですけど、はい、何ヶ月か前にアルバイト先でレジのお金が合わないということがあって自分が実は疑われてるんだっていう相談を受けたんですね息子から、はい、でその時にもしかしたら息子がっていうことも頭をよぎりましたけれども、はあ、でも信じてあげたいっていう気持ちも正直ありますから、はい、あなたの行動に何かやっぱりまずいことがあるから疑われるんじゃないかっていう話をしまして、ええ、そういう疑いをかけられないように頑張らなきゃいけないねっていうことで話をしたんですね、はい、日本人もそうだね自分が違うのに疑われるのは嫌だからっていう話で済んだんですけれども、はい、でそれから数ヶ月経って先日本人が実はまたお金がなくなって、ええ亡くなった時に自分がいた時間帯だったということで辞めるように言われたということを言われたんですね、はい、あ、なるほど、はい、息子さんはご自分じゃないって否定された、はい、家のお金を取ったとその最初の時以外は、うん、何度かあの家でお金がなくなった時も一切自分じゃないっての一点張りで,、はい、で今回のアルバイト先のことも自分じゃないって言ってました、ええ息子さんをお持ちのお母様の立場としてアルバイト先に対してはどういう態度を示されました特に何もしてないですでその証拠や何かはあったのかないのかお聞きになってはいないのアルバイトを見つける時も本人が一人で見つけてましたから、はい、特にその後でお店の方に何か問い合わせたりってことはしてないですそうするとね今のお話の仕方だと、はい、お母様は、はいその息子さんが犯人だったっていう確信をお持ちなわけ今までのその家でのことがあるので、うん、やっぱりそうじゃないのかなっていうのは正直ありますねあじゃあある程度あなたも疑ってらっしゃるわけねそうですね16歳にして6万から7万のお金がちゃんと手に入る、はい、でしかも学校通ってらっしゃるんでしょはいと時間的なことも考えたら、はい、そんなにお金いっぱい使うっていうことはありえないと思うんだけれども、はい、なんか買い物いっぱいしてるみたいな様子は見えますかそれもないんですないんですよね、はい、何か高価なものが増えてるとか、うん、そういったことはそんなにないんですじゃあお母様としては何にお金を使ってると思われますやっぱり飲んだり食べたりだと思うんですよねかなり太っておるお子さんいえいえよく食べますけれどもそういう体格ではないですお家でもよく食べるのねそうですね、うん、はいじゃあ時々喧嘩かなんかして体に傷をつけて帰ってきたこととかはないですかそれはないですうん、はい、誰かに譲られてるとかいうことはないないと思うんですけどじゃあ他になんかギャンブルをしてるとかそれもないと思うんですけどないんですねわ、はい、かりました今日のそうするとご相談は何になりますかねこのままこういったことがまた繰り返されるんじゃないかっていう不安もありますし、はい、こういったことがもうなくなるようにするには本人とどういうふうにこれから接していったらいいのかっていうことも伺いたいですわかりました、はい、今日はですね幼児教育研究の大原恵子先生にいらしていただいてますので、はい、伺ってみたいと思いますこんにちは,こんにちは今お話を聞いていて非常にあの客観的に物事を見ているお母様だなと思ったんですそのじゃあなぜね客観的っていうのは、はい、まずお金を持っていくって言ったんですよ、はい、お金を持っていくっていうのはあるお金があって、はい、あらあの子お金持ってったわって客観的に見てる時なんですね
、それはお金であることにあなたは非常にとらわれていますけども言葉は非常に現実を帯びてないんです。で現実を帯びてないから、はい、次にお子さんのお金を持っていくっていう対応がですね、はい、この子をどう育っていこうかとか、はい、この子のちょっと気になるこの癖をね今のうちに直したいなと思う本質的なものじゃないんですね、はい、あのね、はい、いろんな子育てがあると思います子供はとにかく悪いことをしながら社会に出るものですから、はい、でも一番大事なことはその一つ一つをきちんと親が我が子と対処するけじめをつけるっていうのが子供の成長過程では一番大事なんです。はい、例えば、お母さん僕を疑えたよって時、分かった。じゃあ、お母さんも職場に行って話してくるからね。一つ一つを、お互いの中で、身内の中で、これはこれでこう終わったよって済ませることではなくって、はい、関わったものと一つずつ対応することによって子供を覚えていくんですね。はい。それ職場もその目で見てくださるんですよね。社会っていうのは。そうすると、最終的に、辞めさせられたってことになったときに、はい、お母さんもどうしましたご挨拶行きましたいや、行ってないです。それもやっぱり頭の中には、あ、もう辞めさせたのから、もうこういうことは起きないからいいだろうと思ってました。やっぱり最悪、こんなことになってしまったっていう思いがありましたね。で、やっぱりものすごくショックだったんで、もうそこには二度と行けないなっていう思いに変わりました。お母さんがね。はい。で、その息子さんもその傷を受けましたね。はい、それでどういう対応なさいました本当に自分がしてなければもっと怒りがあるはずだろうと思ったんですけどやめろって言われたからそう言われちゃったら仕方ないからやめたんだよって他人事のような感じで言ってきたものですから本当に一度もお店のお金に手を出してないの疑いたくはないけれども何十人といるその働いてる人の中であなたが辞めさせられたっていうことは疑わないわけにはいかないっていうことを多分言ったと思いますそしてそしたら私なんかにも言うのはすごく言いづらかったのにもかかわらず言ったのに親に疑われるんだったら疑えばいいっていうような感じで言ってましたそれからどうしましたはい親子はそれからは次働きたいのでっていうことで探してるんだよっていう話を本人にしてきたので履歴書を書くのを一緒に手伝ったりとか見てやったりとかっていうことで今に至ります今働いてるんですかはいあの決まりまして先週ぐらいから働いてますで今日はなぜ電話したんですか今おっしゃってるように、はい、子供と話し合ったけれども、はい、息子さんもどちらかというと他人事のように喋って、はい、2人が他人事のようにして一つの問題を解決して、はい、お互いに言い争ってでまあ時間が来てほとぼり冷めたらまた次に行こうほつれたものを全部ズブズブズブと抜いていって今今日来たわけですよね、はい、でそれが今までの全部のやり方ですよね中学校の時のお財布を持っていた時もそういうことですよね、はい、全部結末してお兄ちゃんいけないんですけどもお母さん自身が一つ一つが本当にどうしようって感覚ではないのを感じするんですよでもお金が持っていかれたならばお金を置かなければいいっていう非常に短絡的になってるんですねお兄ちゃんの心が入ってないんですけどねなぜ今日電話したんですか不安だからです何が不安だったんですかまたお兄ちゃんがこういうことをするってことは不安なんですかそうですねじゃあ今回決まったわけでしょ、はい、前のことを人間経験すればいいわけですよねはい、そしたら今お兄ちゃん働いてる場所あなたはまずご挨拶行くべきです本人が拒否をしても強引にでも行くべきなんですそれはそうでしょだって前お兄ちゃんああいうことがあってお兄ちゃん傷ついたでしょってあの時にお母さん言ってれば責任者とも話ができたでしょってだから何か起きたらこの間みたいに話してね今度はお母さんもちゃんとあなたに傷つけることはしないからって言えば前の経験は生きて何の心配もなくなるでしょそうですねそしたらぜひともいつから始めたのまだ自習あ、すぐ行くことですね。行った場合には、向こうもお母さんを見ていますから、はい、今度親御さんが来たことで、向こうも責任を持って、適当にお互いをかけることしないと思いますよ。じゃあ、あの、あくまでも、はい、本人のことは、親は信じてあげた方がいいんですか信じてないんですか信じたい気持ちと、でもそうじゃないかっていう気持ちが半々です。私は、前のことを自分でお母様のようにやってしまった時に、はい、これは子供だけじゃない自分だと思います私はで次回からは信じる信じるじゃなくって、はい、子供の行動の中では私も一緒に責任を負おうと思います私はですよ、はい、息子は可愛いですから、は
信じる信じないはその行動の中で自分がああ息子かわいいんだなとか見えるんですよね動いてる行動の中で疑われた時すぐ飛んでいく土下座したまま謝るそういうことをしながら本当に息子がかわいかったらなんとか自分も今までの息子との関係をもうちょっと考えてみようと思うんですねで今回の場合には前の苦い経験を生かしながら行動の中で自分が信じているのか子供の愛なのか信じてはいないけれどもでも今自分が使わなければいけないのかってことは自分で気づくんですよね、はい、観念でわからないんですこれわかります、はい、信じていてもいなくてもこの子ここでもう傷つけたくないと思ったらその場でしっかりとけじめをつけておきますで次はどうするかって考えますけどもそれが不安感を消す方法なんですね不安は何もしなくって消す方法はないんですねまず行動するエネルギーの中で不安とか怖さは消えていくんです、はい、ですからぜひですね、はい、今回それをやってみていただいたら何かが見えてくると思いますけども先生いかがでしょうかお分かりいただけましたかあはいまあ大原先生すごく優しく遠曲におっしゃってるけど、はい、私から言わせると、はい子どもの時に家の中のものをちょろちょろ盗んだからといって、はい、それを盗み癖を作ってしまうっていうのはひとえに親の対応なんです最初に自分の家の中を盗んだ時に、はい、お母さんとしては何かが欲しくてそれを買うため盗んだのか、はい、面白くって盗んだのか、はい、それとも誰かに脅迫されててお金持ってかなきゃなんなかったから盗んだのか、はい、原因ちゃんと突き止めるべきだったんですでその原因が分かった時にその原因を立ってあげるべきだったの例えば何かが欲しくて盗んだとすればお小遣いを貯めて買うっていう方法、はい、それからクリスマスなんかでプレゼントでもらうっていう方法、はい、いろんな方法があることを教えてあげるべきだったんですね、はい、で疑われた時なんですが、はい、その時の時点でお店に行ってどうしてうちの子が疑われたんですかってむしろ逆に聞きに行くべきだったんですよ、はいでその時にもしもなんかいい加減な話だったら怒って帰ってくるべきだったのそんなことで息子を疑うなって、はい、だけどもしかすると DVD で撮ってあるもあれがありますとかね、はい、なんか出される可能性だってあるわけですよそうですね、はい、でそういうのがあったらそれこそさっきね大原先生が土下座して謝ってでもって言われたけど息子の働いたお金でちゃんと返させますみたいなことまでをさせてから次に進むべきなんですよいずれにしてもご主人ともよく相談し、はい、あなた自身が動いて裏を取ってその対応策を息子さんと一緒にきちっと考えて、はい、そしてその対応を息子さんにデューティーとしてきちっとやらせて、はい、そして一歩進む、はい、それが必要だと思いますわかりましたもっとしっかりしなきゃお母さんなら、はい、いいですかはいありがとうございましたはい失礼します、はい